Hello and welcome to Mary Makes. I'm Mary and today I'm going to be speed running crochet. Um, I am going to time myself and see how fast uh, I can make a mini dyno. Uh, this mini dyno is uh, one of my free patterns. There's a link in the description below to the pattern on my blog and um, there, I did make this into a free YouTube tutorial so that's on my channel as well. Um, I think this normally takes me about an hour, maybe an hour 15 to make. Uh, but usually when I'm crocheting, I'm like watching a show or like watching my husband play video games or something. So I don't know how much faster I can actually go. Um, and I did do the math on this. This pattern has 857 stitches in it. Um, but I don't think it's the amount of crocheting that will slow me down. I think the sewing might slow me down because mini dino is made by crocheting the body and then crocheting each of the individual parts and then sewing on. So sewing on two arms, two feet, and a tail. Um, anyways, let's get set up. I'm curious to find out how long this takes me. All right, I think I am all set up. Uh, I've got my crochet hook. I have my pair of six millimeter safety eyes here. I've got my yarn needle, my scissors, my bag of stuffing is right next to me. And the colors that I'm going to use today are um, Impeccable by Loops and Thread. I'm going to be using Teal for the body and Sunny Day for the stripes. Um, I am going to outside pull. So like instead of pulling the yarn from the center so you don't have to fuss with your yarn ball, I am gonna pull it from the outside because I'm picky and I like my yarn balls to like shrink and look pretty. So yeah, okay. <laughs> and I am also going to be pressing lap. Um, I'll just do it after I finish crocheting and then I'll press lap to see how long it takes me to sew it all. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> um, and I don't need the pattern or anything because I have this memorized, so let's go. Okay, I'm doing a voiceover on my own video. Wow. This is the, my first time doing a voiceover. Anyways, I'm starting off with crocheting an arm first. And um, after I finish crocheting the arms, I always stuff the yarn end from the magic circle into the arm so that it kind of has like a little bit of stuffing to it, uh, making a second arm here. And um, looks like I make two arms in uh, about three minutes. Wow. I've like never really timed myself aside from like looking at the clock before I start crocheting and then looking at the clock after I'm done crocheting. So this is kind of cool for me to see. Um, of course, it's not about speed. Crocheting is my hobby and like, even though I'm making this speed run video, I don't want you to feel like you have to go fast. That's like, that's ridiculous. We all go at our own pace. It's a fun activity and like, you're not, you're not here to race, but also I guess I'm racing. So whoops. Um, I made the two feet next. And while I was just talking, I guess I missed how long it took me to make that, but that's okay. I'm working on the tail now. Um, working on the tail is always a little bit tricky because I am uh, you know, working with two colors of yarn, but it's not that bad because you're only changing every color uh, or the color like every two rows or so. Um, so it looks like I just cut off the tail and that was about 11 minutes. So 11 minutes to make two arms, two feet and the tail. So now the bulk of the time is going to be spent making the uh, head and like the body and stuff. So here I go with that. Wow, I can't believe how much of a fool I am. I think if I really wanted to go as fast as I could, I would be center pulling 
instead of outside pulling but I'm just such a weirdo about outside pull pulling oh and here here's where the drama happens I forgot to put my iPad on like don't fall asleep mode so my iPad falls asleep here about like 20 minutes in and there's like this whole chunk of time where I'm just like happily crocheting away and then I go oh no I have to put in my passcode also I did totally blur it out just now so that you didn't you know like see my password but anyways we're still about uh looks like we're about 22 minutes in now and um what am I doing oh I'm still working on the head and at some point I have to attach on the eyes what I've started doing lately with my eyes is that after I attach my eyes to my amigurumi, I take my lighter and I poke or I burn the back, like the post of the eyeball and like melt it and squish it down. Uh, that was like a tip I saw on Instagram and I was like, ooh, yeah, I should do that. So now I've started doing it on all my amigurumi and now you'll probably see that uh, when I do my tutorials. Okay, we're about almost 30 minutes in now and like you can see me constantly tapping the screen of my iPad because I forgot to put my iPad on don't fall asleep and so I'm just like worried and crocheting and tapping the screen while crocheting but it's fine. Okay, all of these color changes, I think, slow me down a little bit. But honestly, with the color changes, since there's only six rows of stripes, that's really only 12 times you're changing colors, which isn't like that bad compared to some like blankets and other projects I've done. Those can have really intense color changes. Um, what I usually do for my uh, amigurumi is I usually cut off entirely for my color changes. So um, instead of carrying my other color with me, because I think that's too much of a hassle, um, I just tie a knot. The, the pro to not carrying um, your yarn with you is that you don't see the yarn you're carrying like in between the stitches so you know you wouldn't see the stripe color poking through. The con to it is that you'll have a knot in your work so with something like a blanket you you don't really want to have knots in your work because that's like a hard point that you can feel on the texture of your work. But with amigurumi, since the knot is going to be like inside, it really doesn't matter. So I always bind off my colors. Uh, you're not going to see me carrying my colors through. Oh, wow. So now we're like 45 minutes in and I'm done crocheting. I finished all the crochet and look at me. So I am sewing all of the parts on now. I always start with sewing the arms on first. Um, I just like know the five holes or the five stitches that I'm going to sew the arms in and so I just I always start there and honestly where I start abandoning my pieces or like getting distracted is with the feet like I'll attach arms to all of my dino bodies and then I'll like walk away and get a snack or something <laughs> and then I have to come back and finish the feet but you know obviously for this video I didn't I didn't get up and get a snack uh so sewing on the tail next I think I like sewing on the tail second because it helps me line up the body and keep everything uh together and ooh, we're coming to the end here so I stopped uh how fast my speed up was and wow oh my gosh it's the finish line it's like the most exciting part of the video Ah, oh, we did it! Woo! 
All right, there it is. I made this mini dino and it took me 55 minutes and 16 seconds. I can't believe I did it less than an hour. That's crazy. Okay, well, cool, I'm a beast. Um, I did hit the lap button after I was done crocheting all the parts. Um, that included the arms, the feet, the tail, and making the body and stuffing it and closing it off. It took me 45 minutes to make all the parts. And it actually only took me 10 minutes to sew it all together. And like, I, I mean, I think it all just comes down to I've made a ton of mini dinos. So I know exactly where I'm sewing them all. Like I've got my feet on, they're not crooked. My arms, they always go in the same spot. My tail, always in the same spot. So, wow. There you have it. I can crochet a mini dino in 55 minutes. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my speed crochet run. Um, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this and want to see me speed crochet more things because now I'm like getting competitive with it. I, I like want to know how long it takes me to make a Timothy and then like maybe a Jumbo and like who knows what else. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye.